This is Diana Mahoney with the Global Medical News Network reporting from the European Congress of Rheumatology in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm speaking with Dr. Tuliki Soka from Finland who presented the results of a global study showing that during this millennium approximately one-third of patients with new rheumatoid arthritis who are employed at the time of diagnosis subsequently become work disabled because of their disease. Dr. Soka, can you describe the study population? Yeah, the study population is uh, from several countries we started in 2005 and uh, we wanted to invite regular rheumatologists from hospitals, from universities, from private practices and uh, we invited them to review 100 consecutive patients with rheumatoid arthritis and we have a certain structure for this uh, these doctors review medical history of these patients and all, all disease modifying drugs and then every patient uh, completes a patient self-report questionnaire. You observed a difference in the rates of work disability among patients from um, richer and poorer countries. Can you explain that a little bit? About one third of the patients from both of these uh, uh, country groups, third of the patients uh, told us that they are work disabled about five years after the onset of the disease in the group who were diagnosed during this millennium. So there were no differences in the rate, but when we look at how the patients are doing, who are working in rich, rich countries and poor countries, we see clearly that in poor countries people have a lot more disabilities and this is activity going working compared to rich countries among people who are going working also. Mm -hmm. and how can you explain that? Is just I think that there is, there is uh, of course, uh, there is some role uh, how we treat patients with rheumatoid arthritis, but I think that the most part is uh, in the society level and uh, structure of the clinics, medical care, so most of that is also beyond rheumatology and uh, things we possibly cannot uh, uh, influence as rheumatologists or even as patients. Mm -hmm. Now you had mentioned um, being s that the, the results were somewhat disappointing given the this is the era of biologics. Um, what does the study tell us? What is So I mean, in, in big conferences and literature and everywhere, we think that we are doing so well with our patients during this time with all uh, advanced strategies to treat early and to use uh, biologic agents and other effective medications. But uh, when we go to the real clinics and collect data from all these several clinics in several countries, we see that uh, the work disability rates are not actually that much different from what they were 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So there is still a lot of work to do and uh, the direction we want to go is improvements in these aspects. This is Diana Mahoney with the Global Medical News Network.